Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the A19 GPS smartwatch. Now this isn't really a GPS watch in the sense that you would use it for sports, but rather it's meant more for parents that may want to keep an eye out on kids, or perhaps for the elderly to prevent anyone from getting lost. You're able to communicate with the person wearing the watch and see where, where they are by opening up the companion app on your device. In terms of pricing, it sells for under 90 bucks, and what's kind of interesting is that it's technically running on a version of Android. There's even a camera that's built on in that you can use to take images and also communicate. This version here is a 3G enabled model. There's also a 4G variant that sells for slightly more that you can pick up. All of these are unlocked. They're GSM devices, so it will work, for example, with AT&T and T-Mobile or Speedtalk, but it won't work with CDMA carriers like Verizon. There's also basic sports tracking like a pedometer, two-way calling, the watch itself, because it is running on Android, can also be connected to the internet using Wi-Fi. So if the wearer is in an area that has Wi-Fi, they can rely on that instead of using the data from your SIM card. And there is also built-in Bluetooth, I believe. So you can also connect it to a wireless headset or something like that. And on the inside, we have just the watch itself, which we'll take a closer look at in a moment. The charging cable, which it is using micro USB as opposed to a proprietary cradle uh, or wireless charging. There's also also the user manual. There is a pre-applied screen protector which you can peel off here. There's still a layer underneath that uh, prevents the screen from getting scratched as easily. So essentially this is a GPS tracker in the form of a watch more than anything else. So there is a power key on the left side. The entire crown or body of the watch is made out of a chrome plastic material, but it does feel pretty solid in terms of the construction. It doesn't feel too hollow or cheap. There's a tempered glass uh, screen on the front and there's also a home key as well that you can basically tap on to go back onto this main screen tap on the power key once more to turn it off there is a speaker on the side and then on the bottom here is where we have the camera lens on the other side we do have access to flaps which covers up the charging port using again micro usb and on the other side the sim card tray which it is using a micro sim card the watch itself is splash proof and rain proof but it can't be submerged underwater so if you're taking a shower or going swimming you should probably remove it now on the rear here we have just the back plate very typical it doesn't have a heart rate monitor but again it does track your steps it is worth noting though that the straps themselves aren't as easily adjustable or swappable as on some other smartwatches. There really isn't an obvious release mechanism. So taking a closer look here at the display, we can basically swipe to unlock it. The version of Android that it's running on isn't explicitly advertised, but it probably isn't the most up-to-date version. But you can see that we do have drag down notification shade and all the features are still accessible. We can kind of remove all notifications like that. The standby mode for the battery though is very good. On a full charge, using it sporadically, I could get actually around a week or a half before I needed to recharge it again, which is much longer compared to some uh, watches like the Apple Watch, for instance, that you have to charge every day. Customization of watch faces isn't the most plentiful, so there isn't really the ability for it to change the style that you're seeing here. But overall, it is what it is. Shows you the time and date information. I can tap on the dialer key here to begin calling someone in the contact list that you can set up. The middle section here, which is showing a text message, is basically for communicating with the other person that has the mobile app, companion app, installed on their phone. So whenever you send a message on here, the other person's phone will receive it. It's basically a two-way communication. Third function is the pedometer that shows you number of steps that you've walked. And using the companion app, you can also set it up so that it tracks steps during certain hours of the day. A nice little extra feature, but it is very basic. Tap on the back key there to go home. The next function over is really just settings, and it's a simplified version of menus from Android, just a bit more locked down. You can turn on or off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The touchscreen is responsive to the fingers, and right now we have about 70% of battery remaining. We've used it already for about five days, so again, quite good there. We can also take a look at the apps which are currently installed. Now, because it is very locked down, there isn't access to the full Play Store, for instance, so it's a little harder to install third-party games or apps, uh, since really they want to make this thing as run as fast as possible, revolving around safety and tracking. So what that means is you can 
side load applications, but uh, it's going to be something that requires your own intervention to do. Uh, features that you have out of the box are pretty limited. Now there is also the gallery, you can see what photos you've taken from the camera, pretty simple stuff. Speaking of camera, you can launch into it just by tapping on this key, and we can kind of put our hand here and tap to take an image, share it using Bluetooth, send it using that text message function, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the next function here is called friends. Uh, this is more aimed for kids more than anything, but if someone else nearby also has one of these watches, you're able to connect with them, and you can also check for occasional software updates. So let's take a closer look at the companion app, and here's what the main menu looks like. Basically, it will just be always updating, uh, refreshing itself in terms of how long you want to get a ping for knowing what the current location of the person wearing the watch is. You'll see the current battery status of the person wearing the watch. We can zoom all the way out there and it says, again, we are in the suburbs of Seattle right now. We can even see a satellite view or a map view of the current location. Now from here, there's a few things we can do. We can communicate with the person wearing the watch by tapping, tapping on the voice talk. And from here, we can send them a message. For example, hey, this is a test. Can you hear me? Release and it will send the message over automatically. You'll hear a ping on the watch itself. We can swipe over and we see a notification there, we'll jump into our message. Hey, this is a test. Can you hear me? And that's the speaker, you can hear the test uh, message, which came by pretty quickly. Uh, technically, I think it's using a version of WeChat to relay these messages. So we can reply back. Yep, I heard you loud and clear. And we got the message over here on our phone. Yep, I heard you loud and clear. So that works uh, without too many issues. Sending images is also pretty simple. So if you want to show kind of where you are, your surroundings, um, you can open up the camera there. I can tap here to quickly snap a shot, tap on confirm, and afterwards it will kind of send that image and we'll see it kind of pop along here on our phone. An alternative is using it in the telephone mode. So basically that will call the person and this time it will be using the cellular data using the SIM card and uh, the call will come in. You'll be able to answer it and have a more continuous conversation back and forth instead of like a walkie talkie messages. Uh, so that will be maybe easier for longer conversations. We can also take a look at our history in terms of where we were segmented by a different date range and also by a different time period. So it will tell us if we're in a current location for X amount of time, our speed as we're traveling and playing back the entire period as we are moving, tracing it on a map. Tapping on mode is how you can adjust the setting for giving you a tracking alert every say a minute, every kind of few seconds, every hour. Now tap Tapping on more, we can also take a look at things like the health step, which is the pedometer function. You can either activate it or turn it off using the app here. Geofence can be set up so you can create a safety zone such as your house uh, so that you don't get any alerts if someone is within the parameters of that geofence. And you can also set it up to give you alerts if someone has exited that safety house, for example. Under advanced settings, we can do things like uh, add in contacts that the person wearing the watch can contact and call themselves. I can also set up alarms so the watch will ring maybe in the morning. Here's a snippet of what that geofence function looks like. You can set a different parameter or radius. Alarms and notifications like SOS will also be pushed over for you to see. And if a person wearing the watch feels in danger, they can also trigger an alarm just by long holding on the power key for a few seconds. Um, afterwards, you'll see a notice kind of pop on. Although one downside of uh, this particular function is there's really no way for the wearer to turn the watch off. Basically, as long as it's being worn, it will be always tracking. So that's more or less it. As far as our closer look at the A19 GPS watch. What I like about it is despite being more of a tracker meant for kids or the elderly, it, it still has a pretty elegant design to it. It doesn't feel too dumbed down or overly chunky like some other kids products in the past. Although the features are purposefully limited, they work very well, it's pretty smooth, and with the companion app everything works in conjunction exactly as expected. A pretty interesting safety gadget overall, and you can check out more details if you are interested in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the A19 GPS watch.